Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing dark into the light. This is a timeless read, so please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Collect the reading on first reading. Collect the reading on first reading. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I'm not you are mad. It's not for you guys, but for the most part, thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, be notified. Okay, I want to do a higher, um, higher energy read, okay? Higher energy read, uh, high vibrational read. So I'm going to start with my Pleiadian cards, you guys. Let's get some um, high vibrational readings coming out here. Okay, and I know all my readings, I want high vibing, but I just feel like, um, we need just a really, really positive upreading reading right now. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, 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 the most high. He's going to be cracking every perspective. I'm hearing star seed, okay. Alien activation, okay. That's why somebody's going through an alien activation. That's what I'm hearing. If somebody's going through an alien activation, okay, to their higher self, higher dimensions, timeline jump. Wow. So you went through this timeline jump. You are shifting timelines. Okay, you are going from one timeline to a new timeline. 32 breaks down to 5, which is travel. It's also expression. Okay. Then we have Marop. 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 Okay. Let's, let's just take those two. Let's take those two because I'm going to get the book. Okay. Timeline jump. And then Marop. Okay, yeah. Somebody, somebody's activating their, uh, alien, their alien species DNA activation. 32. Okay. Very important card here. I feel like this is important. Okay, so you can understand. Held back from most of the human pop populace is deeper reality that you are fully multidimensional being in the truest form. Your soul res resides in a multiverse with infinite possibilities and timelines available. When one comes becomes conscious of these sub subtle fields, they gain the ability to consciously leap into other timelines that best serve their evolution and happiness. This quantum field is where one experiences a true freedom and empowerment to know that all consciousness is liquid and one is never struck anywhere. Timeline jumping is not just some lingo out of sci-fi movie, but is backed up to truth by many of the Earth quantum scientists who understand multiverses and the infinity possibles of the universe we reside in. When the timeline jump card arrives, it indicates that you do not need to stay on your present timeline for, your, for you to reside in a multiverse of infinity possibilities. Now is a great moment to activate your natural timeline, jumping skills, and quantum leaping onto the Earth of you cho your choosing. Recognize that your timeline jumper... And through your vic vibrator match, you will naturally cross over into the multiverse that matches your frequency. Know you are never stuck. Source always provides infinite roads. As I said, you're activating your DNA of alien species. Activating DNA of aliens, okay? Accessing the extraterrestrials. Freedom, options, movement, change. I, I, I said it, um, travel. Uh, movement. Change of plans, moving on, new life, new beginnings, and quantum field. Okay, somebody's learning more about quantum field, quantum physics. Okay, quantum physics, quantum thinking. Okay, you guys, um, if you don't know what quantum thinking is, um, I do quantum thinking. I look at different things in different situations and stuff like that. So, you are able to do this. You're able to switch, okay? You're able to go into the timeline that you want, the earth that you want, okay? The consciousness that you want, the happy, loving freedom of everything, okay? Marrow. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. 26 breaks down to 8, which is abundance, you guys. Okay. Okay. We, the Pleiadians, seek to guide you into the star or systems known as Maripo, spelled as Marope in your plane. Maropa to us represents the goddess of awakening that births herself through the act of death. This death is not an ending to Mariposa stance, but allowing for life to continue and result in shedding with... Shedding what is no longer serving one's life path. So you're no longer serving this path, okay? You are going into a new path. There, You've already served what you needed to serve in this timeline, okay? You served something already in this timeline. It's time for you to step into a new timeline and serve something different, okay? The coordinates near Maripo are known as hot loco with it often being fiery and volcano in nature. The fire medicine of Maripo teaches us that we can be reborn through the fires of tra transmission transmutation and need not to fear death don't fear death okay do not fear death when beings in our 
culture are finding it challenging to drop a certain part of their life. We request for all them to call upon the fire goddess in order to cleanse. So this is a fire goddess, okay? Volcano. I'm I'm hearing Hawaii, okay? I keep saying eruptions and looking at eruption. A volcano eruption. We request that you call upon the fire goddess in order to cleanse their spirit by burning off what does not serve them in the fiery of alchemy. Transmuting negative energy into positive energy, okay? When this card of miracle arrives to you, it is your pleading guides indicating that some aspect of your lifestyle needs to be thrown into these fires for you to prosper. Whether it is an or outdated employment situation, relationship, or shadow aspect of your lifestyle, the dropping of these no longer serving aspects of yourself will allow for your energy field to redirect itself towards soul advancement. Understand that you cannot hold on to everything and proceed. What is being requested is dropping off your load through a review of unhealthy attachments. Call upon the fire goddess of Maripo to help you drop these cords and you will gain a great sense of relief. The fire medicine seeks you. Die and, re and be reborn. Cord cutting. Someone needs to do a cord cutting. Okay, cord cutting. Energy shift, change of direction, opportunity, letting go. Okay, so this is you letting go of your old, okay? Letting you, go, letting go of people from your past okay you guys this comes out a lot because there's a lot of new people in the in watching my channel and in the collective a lot of people are guided to tarot now and spiritual advancement and spiritual growth and stuff like that and so again this could be like somewhat a repeat to some some people but it's time to let go okay it's time to cut that cord okay cut that cord of something or someone okay it could be even a place Okay, sometimes we always think it's a person, but it may not be. It could be a toxic thing. Like I had to cut the cord of smoking cigarettes, you know, cut the cord of dr alcohol and drugs and the toxic people. Okay, um, right now that this could be coming out. His spirit still tell me to eat healthier. You know, I'm still, I'm doing better, but I'm still trying to kick that habit of un eating unhealthy. I still go for sweets and stuff and still eating a little bit of carbohydrates and stuff, but you know we can we can change that okay we can change that we can step into a new timeline believing that we can do it and it's also believing that you can do it too as well but somebody is significantly um going through an alien activation i just keep hearing alien activation okay you you're seeing things that you did not think you could see or feel before uh you i'm, I'm, I'm hearing you felt like a, you're living in like a, a movie okay something about like a movie like everything is going around you is like a movie like a movie a lifetime movie or like a, a sci-fi movie like that's what came out like you feel like it's a sci-fi movie but it's not it's it's where we have a multiverse and we're multi-dimensional beings and you can it's infinity you can go in one timeline to another timeline to another timeline okay you can go to a new new earth okay it's just kind of if you ever watch the show flash either on it used to be on cw the flash or go watch the new movie flash the movie okay um right there you guys okay significant they're they're telling us okay i didn't realize that when i watched the show flash back in 2014 15 16 whatever it was before um i became in my active addiction at the time um i was watching with my daughter and stuff and i didn't realize that was real i saw it was a tv i thought it was sci-fi that was fake you know and now looking back at it, i'm like wow spirit had me watching that show because i was going to be activating then i was going to be going to a new timeline Okay, there are TV shows, there are movies, there's books going into portals. And now looking back at it, I'm like, wow. All that stuff that I watched in Flash about going to different um, universes and how there's the good Flash and a bad Flash and there's the good side. Like in Flash, the show, it was ended up being a red Flash and the yellow Flash is the one that set up his father to kill the mother. And in the movie, it's like a setup going into this universe of you can be good and bad. Okay, you can be good and bad. There's duality. Okay? So... With me being here, there is a very evil one of me in a different earth, okay? In a different planet, different multidimensional, an evil one of me. And then there's one of me that's my higher dimensional being of my, me being my alien Pleiades, Pleiades, okay? There's so many of us. And that's what people don't understand as well. People don't understand. They think that um, everyone's out to get them. But we also have an evil, evil side to us too in a different universe, multiverse. I hope that makes sense. If you may not, if, if you don't understand that, then you have not consciously, uh, woke. Okay. You have not accessed the 5d timeline. Okay. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, you haven't accessed that, but you're going to eventually. Okay. Um, so I, it, here's an example in my, right now I'm in this living this life, but in another multiverse, in another earth, I could be a criminal where I'm a serial killer. Okay. I could be the serial killer. I could be that villain. So it's what we make of it. 
go go watch the if you want go watch the movie Flash and then the TV show the episode of the TV show okay there is a lot of significant things because they were time he was time jumping okay he was flashing like they, he was able to go and there's some both signs and I did not understand at that time and I'm like oh no now I see yes it is okay it is okay so that's gonna be good good for someone okay because you don't want to run anymore okay you were running you were running you were you're afraid you are afraid to commit. Okay, you are afraid to commit and you are afraid to love yourself. I don't love you. Go away. This one is I'm getting is you were afraid to love yourself. Okay, you didn't know how to love yourself. Okay, so you're running from it. Afraid. And look at, she's like walking, uh, she's walking her bike on this little bridge into the new earth. With everything that she has. You got to walk away from this timeline, this this timeline of greed, power, okay? Fame, codependency, okay? Possessions, assets, okay? It's all about the money. Okay, in the past I'm hearing you were you could have been materialistic, okay? Thinking about all the money, thinking you had to work really really hard. Okay, that's that's what they want us to believe. They want us to believe that we have to work a 9 to 5 job where we're making $10 an hour and working over double time and not making any money to provide. We don't have to. We don't have to. That that's that's what they're trying to condition us to be keep us slaved. You can go into this timeline where you are making a lot of money, and you're working less. I was I, when I got back into um, out of my addiction. I went to a hotel. I was making ten dollars an hour cleaning rooms, and I'm like, I gotta do this to get my money. I gotta get to do this to provide for myself and get myself back on track. And they were overworking me. I was a slave. I was kind of like I was getting underpaid. Okay, you you don't have to get underpaid. I was working hard. And then I, I found my purpose, okay? Finding your purpose as well. You don't have to. Okay, you don't have to go through this. Okay, this could be because you're dealing with a bitter baby mom, bitter baby daddy too, okay? Somebody who's dealing with somebody that's bitter. Karmic lover. Okay, so you, yeah, this karmic lover. So that's maybe you have to let go. You have to cut this cord. You have to cut this cord with this karmic lover to jump into this new timeline. Lower negative energies, mental, physical, verbal, abuse, toxic, unhealthy connections, okay? Okay, somebody could have done a spell spell on you as well. There could be some kind of magic spell. That was in the bottom of the deck. Spells, voodoo, hex, vex, blacks, magic, sacrifice to stop union. Okay, somebody was trying to stop union with yourself. And this is trying to stop union with your higher self, okay? Trying to stop union with your higher self. And look at, we have on the bottom of the deck too. Psalms 23, Pharaoh's awakening. You're awakening. Okay, you're awakening. You got DNA. DNA healing. Activating it. It's time to choose you. Put yourself before everybody else. If you if you if you want to be a doctor, you can be a doctor in this new timeline. If you want to be a, a federal agent, you can be a federal agent in this new timeline. If you want to be an actress, you can be an actress in this new timeline. If you want to be a terror reader, you can be a terror reader. Whatever you want to be, you can be. But you have to truly believe it. And you have to, it, there's work. You got to do some work too. There is work you got to do. Solar plexus, okay? Working on that solar plexus chakra. Ambition, free will, personal power, courage. I'm able to say yes, no. See, courage and personal power. Knowing you're able to do anything. Anything's possible, okay? Anything's possible. Somebody's trying to keep you away from that. Because Some, they don't want you to be able to go in this new timeline. Okay, this karmic lover, this person that's doing spell work, this person that's greedy. Okay, family, friends. They don't want that. Um, with the solar plexus, you guys, I have citrine as a really, really good chakra bracelet. Anklet and bracelet for um, your citrine. This is really, really good for your solar plexus. I have a bracelet with the moon, a bracelet without it, and then an anklet. Citrine is really good for your solar plexus, you guys. Okay, citrine. Yeah, you're going through the spiritual... Ascension, awakening of the mind, DNA activations, Phoenix rising, getting out of the matrix, see? DNA activations, alien activations, DNA activations. You are whole vibe, electrifying, chemistry, energy doesn't lie, okay? You you are a high vibing uh, being. You are, you're supposed to, you're meant to be a high vibing being. And actually everybody on this planet is supposed to be meant to be a high vibing being, okay? Everybody, even our demons, even the karmics, they're meant to be high dimensional being. They are. We all are supposed to be that. Okay, there's gonna be some kind of abundance when you walk into this timeline. This is where like sudden wealth, unexpected income, gratitude, I accept all positive outcomes. This is also knowing that you be thankful for what you have. 
Be thankful that you get to wake up every day. Be thankful that you get to breathe oxygen. Be thankful you get to see, you get to hear, you get to smell, you get to taste. There's people that can't taste. There's people that can't see or hear. Be thankful that you can, I, I'm grateful that I get to walk. I'm grateful that I get to touch things. Those people can't walk, they can't touch, they can't move, they're, you know, they're paralyzed. Be grateful for that. Have gratitude. Gratitude is going to help you change in this timeline too. It's over. This reaper, this relationship, whatever the situation is going on, it's over. It's done. Relationship is over. Endings, closure, no such, no such chances. Letting go, watch my exit. It's over. The reaper is here to bring somebody to their destination. The Reaper is here to bring somebody to the destination, okay? One more. Huh. Bear told me to take the top card. Top card. Alien species DNA activations. You could see. Spirit, I was, Bear told me to look at the bottom and the top. Okay, that's Spirit told me to look at the bottom too, okay? Um, alien species, Anaki, the fallen ones, reptilians, the controllers, greys. We just want to rule. or We just want to exist. Mantis, the referees, pleadings, we are here for war. Giants, we just want to rule. Pleadings are here for war does not mean we're here to shoot people out. We're here to cut people out. No. Pleadings are here. We are here to fight for unconditional love. Here to fight the dark forces to bring people into alignment. To bring people into awareness and consciousness. Okay? That's what the pleadings are here. Pleadings are here to fight. They're light workers. They're star seeds. They're here to bring people out of the darkness. They don't back down. Giants are Nephilims. Okay? Nephilims. They want to rule. They do. Anaki, the fallen ones. Anaki is here for balance. Reptilians, they want to control things, okay? They want to, you know, and that's what you may have to get rid of. You may have to walk away from this timeline of reptilians, okay? And these Nephilims, okay, that want to rule and control. And then we do have backstabbers. That's what you need to walk away from. Backstabbers, whole smiles, whole smiles in your face, whole time they want to take your place. This is where you need to cut cords, okay? Because you're not, if you want to go to this new timeline, you're not going to be able to bring these, um, Backstabbers, these karmics with you, okay? They're going to have to do their work on their own time and have to deal with their shit while you move into your new timeline, okay? You can't bring everybody with. You can pray for them. You can pray for them, but that's you're going to have to let them do their thing and you do yours, okay? Yes, you're here to be service to others. Yes, you're here to help others, but these people that keep backstabbing you, okay? Keep saying back to you want money, stealing from you, taking from you, okay? Stealing your energy, doing spells on you. Those aren't the people that you're meant to help right now. There are other people that want to be helped. Spirit told me that. And Spirit told me, and the reason I just said that is because when I was helping people that were in active addiction zone, I was out and was helping them, and they said they need help, but then they didn't want to take my advice, and they kept doing it over and over and over. Spirit kept saying, you have people that you're supposed to help. I'm not saying don't help people, but you're helping the wrong ones. That's when Spirit told me to get a YouTube channel. Spirit's like, you have people out there that you need to help, that you're going to help around the world. Even if it's only 500 people, you're going to help people around the world that want to be helped, that want the guidance, want advan advancement. They want to heal. They want to ascend. They will be organically, they'll organically find you. You'll find them. You'll find your soul tribe. They'll find you. The people that I kept helping over and over, they just kept backstabbing me. They kept hurting me. I had to cut cords. I had to cut cords. I had to. And that's what you have, you're going to have to do too. It's hard and it's difficult because that's what you're familiar with and that's what you're used to, but you can do it. We we, we as humans like to stay in familiar. familiar uh, we like to stay in the familiar. familiarity. I can't even pronounce it now. Okay. Different word. We as humans like to keep in familiar situations okay we don't like change we don't like to do a lot of change we don't like to do a lot of things extreme and stuff like that and that's where um it gets to be t tough because we're so familiar with things that we want to stay in that we don't we we were afraid don't be like that okay don't don't be afraid third eye visions manifestations med meditations your third eye is opening up their third eye is not you could still be activating them. But Spirit says don't. Because you're blue avian. Okay, you're blue avian. Releasing karma. See, that's the reason you're releasing karma. Mysticism. Blue avians are bird species, okay? They are bird species. Okay, they are 12th dimensional. Multidimensional. They are the highest consciousness you can go. Okay? There's a th third eye again on the bottom. 
Blue Avians, Blue Rays, okay? I come from Blue Avians. Tall Whites, uncer Uncertainty, Distrust, Distrust, and Guarded. Okay, you could be discarded or guarded. Okay, and you, you lost trust in other people. But in this new timeline, you're going to be able to trust people. This new timeline, you're going to be able to trust. Okay, these people are going to be trusting you and you're going to trust them. Tall white uncertainty. Okay, it is afraid. When you're not familiar with something you do, you have uncertainty. That's, that's you know, what I was trying to say earlier. Thank you, Spirit. And we have Syrians B, responsibilities, lessons, growing up. Okay, you're growing up. You're, you're, you're learning these lessons, okay? These lessons have been, that you've been going through, you're learning from them, okay? You're learning from them and you're going to be able to teach, too. And these responsibilities, you're going to have something about having more responsibilities. Mermaid energy coming out here, Syrians, mermaid on the water, okay? Ceres um, is a bright star in the sky, okay? They are um, consciousness as well. Just go, so the planet. Okay, somebody's really, really drawn to mermaids, water, ocean life, okay? Ocean life, which blue avian here has the wa water and the blue um, water too. Okay, you're really drawn. Oh, this is sky. Sorry, sky. So somebody's really drawn to the sky or water. Dragons, mystical as well, okay? Like I said, dragons, mystical. Dragons are real. Remember, I have a dragon. Should I go get my dragon? I'll go my dragon. Hold on. Okay, I got to show you my new addition to the family. Here's our new addition. Do you want to say hi, buddy? We still haven't named him yet. We're still kind of figuring it out. Kind of seeing his personality, but right now it's been per um, Buddy. Sparrow. 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 Spiral. Spiral. It's bad. Look at him. You say hi. See mystical. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Here you go. You and your cards there. Look at. It. Here's our little buddy. Our little dragon. Hi. Can you say hi to our friends? Are you trying to run away? Back of my hand. Come here. Here you go. Go away. It's okay. You're just showing off. Are you just showing off? Are you looking at mommy? Hi. You guys, this thing, he will be able, to be able to take him for walks. He's going to get big and we get to take him for walks. When he gets older, they take him for walks. They have little, like, carriers for him and stuff. We're going to take him wherever we, he wants to go. Aren't we? Can you say hi? Do you want to go back? Yeah. Do you want to look at the camera? Okay, you want to say hi to your friends? No, you don't want to look at them today? You just want to look at mommy? Do you want to back down? No? Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to put back. He don't want to move today. Okay, you guys, so yeah. You guys have to see my little, our little pet dragon. Okay, so yeah, just pretty much cutting cords, you guys, okay? Cutting cords from these people um, or situations because um, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. I'm going to, okay, yep, I'm going to close this out. So it wasn't going to be a really long reading. Oh, I'm going to get my hybrid ones too. Let me do one first. Go for a minute. Okay, what else? Thank you. Sewer so Mermaid. Wow. Your sensuality is beautiful. So we do have Mermaid coming out. Okay, mystical. Mystical being, okay. The past returns for a time. Okay, so we have a past return for the time. Maybe that's how you're going to be able to go through this. It's past return for time. And you have to heal this, let go. Okay, close this out. Love is strange. Strange Valentine. So then we have a hybrid here. We have the um, frog with the um, butterfly here. You know, and I got the dragon, you know. So, hybrid, some of this hybrid mix of, a mix of um, alien species, okay. DNA activations, mix of star seeds. Okay, you can mix of star seeds as well. Butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness, and after sadness, happiness and hope returns. Okay, you had some great sadness. 
Okay, maybe you had sadness because you cut this cord. You let go of this karmic lover, karmic friend, karmic family. You let go. And you moved into this new timeline. You're healing, you're growing. A beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself. Spirit, what else? Money is heading your way. Unexpected blessings, windfall. Money is heading your way. Unexpected blessings and windfall. I said you jump into this new timeline, you're going to have some kind of money coming to you. Someone dreams of you constantly and can't get you out of their mind. Somebody dreams of you constantly and can't get you out of their mind. Purple is coming out a lot here. Purple. See, they are not on your level. Pull back your energy. There are spiritual animals watching over you. Birds, crows, even dragons. I love this person is a thief. Money, time, love, and energy. That's why you need to walk away. There's a person that's a thief. Cut this cord, okay? Because they're a thief. They're stealing from you. They're taking from you, okay? Physically, spiritually, mentally, either or. Okay, you guys, in this deck, you guys, I wanted to give you this deck is... um. Uh, Patrice's Purpose, LLC, Treasure, I think it's Treasure Island 144, Treasure 144. Um, she's on YouTube and TikTok. You guys, check her out. This card deck is really cool, really awesome. Okay, if you're into new cards decks, um, check her out, okay? Treasure, is it Treasure Island 144 or is it just Treasure? Let me, I want to make sure. You guys, I, mean, I give out shout-outs to the other people that watch my channel, that are part of my tribe and stuff, because we should be working together, coming together. And, um... Coming together and boosting one another, like helping one another out. Oh my gosh, what is it again? Oh, it is Treasure Island 144, okay? She's on TikTok and she's on YouTube. Here's her thing, you guys. Her profile. Okay? Check her out, you guys. She's a reader too, Okay? Um, she should be getting more, uh, she should be getting more, um, subscribers and more views than what she's gotten. Okay, she should have gotten more views and subscribers than what she has. So check her out, you guys. Okay, check her out if you, um, yeah. Help one another out, okay? Help another person out. We help each other out, okay? That's how we grow. Um, that's what, the uh, same thing with timelines, too, is when we, we help others out, we're actually changing a by me talking about this too, this is helping her. This is helping me, but it's also making a change for everybody around us, okay? So, you want to check her out. Um, she's a different reader than me. She has different uh, reads, okay? So, again, different vibe. So, I, she does Dave Trevor things on TikTok as well. <coughs> wow. Okay. <coughs> wow. 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 Take one of these to close out, you guys. I just heard somebody's going to jail for stealing from you as well. Okay, this is where you maybe cut that cord. Not allow this person back. Okay, I just heard that. Okay, somebody could be going to jail because of stealing from you. And that's where you cut that cord and you walk away. So you can go into this new timeline. This backstabber, this person that stole from you. White sag protector, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Your intuition, to, use your intuition to take where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Fox clever, you are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Oh, look at it. Lizard. My dragon's not a lizard. My dragon is a dragon. I don't know why. Someone keeps calling him lizard, but he's not. Um, lizard. Regeneration. As a survival, you you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adopt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. 
Master Regeneration, new cloak. Okay. So also I'm hearing with this person going to jail that stole from you, this person that went to jail that stole from you, also could have caused you to wake up and to go in a new timeline. Okay, to regenerate, to heal, to be activated. Angel number 433. Powerful message to let go of all negative energies in your life. Welcome positive. Okay. 711. New beginning, spiritual awakening, and finding true self. Let go of past and forgive self. 533. Change, transformation, and change. Do something differently. The universe is always with you. Growth, expansion, spiritual awakening, and journey. Yeah, this person, okay. Somebody went to jail. Okay. Somebody that you know went to jail and you're cutting this cord. Okay. It's time to cut this cord. Okay, this person stole from you. You're going into this new timeline, activating your new DNA. Alien species, activation, DNA. Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius. Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius. Eleven. Eleven is aligning with your path, okay? And mirroring as well. Mirroring. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, and namaste.